we're going to get started now. So um, we're going to start the mock test as we would start a real test with a tell me question. Nothing too tough, just a tell me question. Would you tell me about the power steering? How would we test to see that the power steering is working? Okay, when you turn off the engine, mm -hmm. it, shouldn't, it shouldn't feel like firm. It shouldn't feel hard. To turn. No, you're correct. Yes. Yeah. So I'd like it to be nice and easy yeah, to nice steer. Yeah, nice and easy yep. to steer. Thank yeah. you. Um, later we'll be doing your show me question. We'll do that as we're driving. Do you remember how to wash the front window? So we tried to do that one a bit earlier, but we didn't actually get round to it. So with the right lever, yeah, pull it towards your body and hold it for a few seconds. Yeah. So the right lever, the right lever, yep, or stalk, yeah. pull it towards your body, yeah. let go, yeah. and that's how we wash the front window. Yeah. Hopefully you didn't spray up on the cameras too much. Okay. No. Take your time when you're ready and it's safe. We're going to drive on. I'll ask you that a little bit later for your show me question. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Just ask. Always take your time. Take us towards the end of the road. I would advise using the right lane at the end of the road to join the right lane and then at the roundabout, the willow tree roundabout, yeah. turn right for the exit. All right. Ready? Okay, ready. Let's go. Position's a little bit in the middle here. Can you see? Yeah, so if there's a car behind us trying to use the left lane, it might get a bit stuck. So if we're turning right into the right lane, just try and hold the center line or the yeah, center up. Can you center. see? Just yeah. about squeezing through, aren't they? We yeah. could give them a bit more room though. Yeah. So trying to position right, and then when it's safe, we'll join the right lane. Yeah. And then one more time, just turning right on the roundabout, third exit. Yeah. How can we tell the official speed limit? Some signs? Yes. Okay, that's it. So we just want to be looking for signs. They're usually in the trees. Okay, the next roundabout, I'd like you to take the third exit. 
Oh, sorry, my bad. We're going to follow the sat nav, so hopefully the sat nav will give you the directions. I'd like you to follow the sat nav from now on. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit A4180, B455, Right Slip Road. You will arrive at your destination at 11:29 a.m. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. After 200 yards, turn right, Edwards Avenue. Super position, by the way. Very nice for your right turn. Well done. Thank you. That way, all the traffic can just go around us and we wait here until it's safe, yeah? yeah. So, very nice. Or if someone is kind enough. Yeah, maybe. It can happen. Yeah. Ah, we don't have a number. 
<laughs> Does look like a dead end, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, notice the black and white arrows, chevrons. Mm. The ones closest to us just advise us that it's a bend oh, and they right. point to where it goes. So if you see these black and white chevrons, oh, right. they're yeah. just advising us as a sharp bend. Mm. And they'll point which way it goes. It can help us to plan from a distance. Okay, just after these parked cars, I'd like us to pull up in a convenient, safe place on the left. Loving those mirror checks. Very nice signal. Smooth angle. Looking good. Not too shabby. Yeah, and we've got our reference point here yeah. at the yellow line. It's a little bit off the curb. Just give yeah. you an idea of what kind of position that would be. Yeah. So if it's just touching the pavement, a little bit closer. closer. Not too bad. Yeah. Okay, we're going to continue to drive next. So if you have any questions, please do ask. Otherwise, when you're ready and it's safe, drive on and follow in the sat nav. Okay. Something I forgot at the beginning as well. Good luck. <laughs> It's gonna get a little dicey from here. Really? Right. Oh, well, you're doing very well, so don't let me put you off, but we've got some more challenges coming, yes. Nice observations and signal for your move off. Well done. Good cancelling your signal. Excellent with your pedestrian. Nice clearance. And you're watching the other side there at the same time. Nice position for your oncoming traffic, also at the allowing end of yourself the road, plenty of room to move right, off. Masson Avenue, then turn left. Excellent with your uh, observations and blind spot checks. Good steering, nice control. Well done. Oh, I didn't hear. What did, did they say? So turning right, please. Uh, okay. Yeah. Love turn it. right, then turn left. It's just the notice the examiner adjusted my seat belt. It was just on my neck a little bit. I just adjusted it. That's the noise you just heard, so just in case you're wondering. Nice mirror checks. Good Turn fighting. left, A4180, West End Road. Then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A40, towards North Old. <clears throat> nice stopping position to see the tyres of the vehicle in front. Yeah. Quite a busy junction, this one, yeah. even on a Sunday. And how more tomorrow? Because tomorrow is now busy. Tomorrow, eight o'clock, will be quite busy. Um, we've done some of the eight o'clock routes, the morning routes. Yeah. Uh, we did that on day one, so this is just day two of your intensive. And we're looking at the more difficult routes today. Okay. Difficult? Today, yeah, this is probably one of the hardest routes that you're doing at the moment, if not the hardest. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, big challenge, and you're doing very well, so just stay focused. I can't believe it's busy like this. Yes, this one Sunday? is. Yeah. Uh, there's shops on your right, not a lot of shops around here, so people tend to go that way and then on your left is the big dual carriageway which takes people everywhere inside London so if people want to go somewhere else they're gonna use that dual carriageway so yeah. very busy road this one <clears throat> Lovely edging up to the very edge of the road helps us with our vision and also gets us closer. <coughs> oh yeah, so that if there's a gap, yeah, I can quickly go. Oh, 
Yeah, I think we're going to stay here longer. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely fine. The best question to ask is, would we walk out? No. Exactly. Well, so we wait. Here. Yeah. Ah, but uh, on the oh, we can oh. the beeps. That's yeah. absolutely fine. They can't see what we can see. Yeah. Yeah, they can see a brick wall. We can see a whole load of yeah. cars coming towards us. Yeah, so. there's no space. To exactly. Be so busy. ignore the beeps. Yeah. yeah. If they want to be a little bit pushy. Yeah. They can they try can and go around it. us. Yeah. They'll, they'll end up smacking into other cars. There would be an accident for sure. Yeah. Very nice, that was good. Well done. So the sat nav will give you the direction, so just try to follow the sat nav for me, please. After 100 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A40, towards North Old. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. After three quarters of a mile, take the exit. After 800 yards, take the exit towards North Donald. After 400 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A312, towards Hayes. <coughs> what did you say? Did so it would be the third exit, please, okay. turning right okay. towards Hayes. To the road marking say Hayes. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A312, towards Hayes. Welcome to the Target Roundabout, also known as the McDonald's Roundabout. This one? Mm hmm Take the exit, A312, Church Road.
and there are lots of side roads there. Very careful. yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A312, the parkway. Interesting decision. Be very careful of the road markings. We tend to just drift over the lines sometimes. Oh, there may yeah. be vehicles next to us. Yeah. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A312, the parkway. After 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Glencoe Road. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. like us to move to the right lane. After 100 yards, turn right, Glenco Road, then turn right. the green car know where we're going to go. After 100 yards, Turn right, Glencoe Road, then turn left. So just begin the, uh, sorry, use the left lane. So I can turn right, then turn left. Then, then if it's safe, we're just going to follow the left lane ahead. Okay. Lovely. 
lovely. We are back at the centre. I'd just like us to turn left here for me, please. Turn left, signet way, then turn around when possible. Going to ask you to do a manoeuvre next, okay? So, what I'd like you to do is to pull over on the right, just by the silver fencing or the railings on the, on the right. So, if it's safe, just moving over to the right. And we'll stop anywhere on the right side here. When you're ready and it's safe, I'd like us to reverse back roughly two car lengths and finish a reasonable distance from the curb. How many car lengths? Um, roughly two, it can be more or less slightly. Uh, the main thing is that we finish a reasonable distance from the yeah. All right, mm -hmm. is that you happy to finish the maneuver here then? Yeah, so just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so we're finished? Yeah. All right, when you're ready, if you just secure the vehicle for me, We'll know it's the end of the test when we're asked to switch off. Is it already 30 minutes? It's a little bit quicker route, okay? Yeah. Well, yeah, roughly. Sometimes it could be a little bit quicker than 30 yeah. minutes. Sometimes it could be a little bit longer. Yeah. But that is it. That is the end of our mock yeah. test, our first mock test. There will be more. Um, chat have actually cast their verdict, but it is a tradition around here to ask you, how do you feel it went? It went good, uh, especially um, only that uh, one place I missed the what the turn. Yeah, but apart from that, yeah, it was yeah good. Yeah, if it was in the exam on my test day, I'll say yeah, I passed. <laughs> so you're gonna say pass? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Chat cast their verdict. I think it was about eighty-three percent fail. Um, I'm going to have to agree with chat on this occasion, yeah. so unfortunately we haven't passed this mock test. Mm -hmm. You are 100% that you did do very well, especially on most of the big roundabouts, okay? Yeah. Um, there was one roundabout towards the end, which was the White Heart roundabout. Yeah. We were asked to go second exit, straight ahead? Yeah. Or second exit? Yeah. Usually it's straight ahead. Yeah. Uh, so we didn't hear it's left second. or right, it just yeah. said second exit. Um, so if the sat nav doesn't say left or right, you know, we don't need a signal. That's the trigger yeah. word. Yeah. Left, right, must signal. If it doesn't say left or right, no signal. And what lane would we normally use to go straight ahead? Would it be the left lane or the right lane? Yeah, straight ahead. So if I gave you a hundred pound and I said to you, I want to, I want to bet now. Do you want to bet on the left lane to go straight ahead or the right lane to the go straight right, ahead? The right one. The right lane. Yeah. I'll take your money. Good day for me. I just made a hundred pound. Thank you. Yeah, you know there's some roads. There's like left only. There you is. Can't go, you can't go like. If there's no road markings. If there is no road markings left. Yes, good. Yeah. So I can give you your money back now. <laughs> <laughs> With an extra hundred pound on top. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we use the right lane as we approach the roundabout, and then we moved over into the middle lane with no mirror check. So because we changed lanes on the roundabout with no mirrors and no signals, yeah. could lead to an accident. Yeah. So there's a hypothetical lane change, no mirrors, no signals, maybe there's someone next to us, we wouldn't know, they wouldn't know, accident. Mm. So that's a serious, mark that down for mirror checks to change of direction. So for anyone that's doing roundabouts, it's all about the mirrors and signals, and then we can go wherever we want to go. No problem, because we're going to do it safely. And that's yeah. what a driving test is all about, and that's how we pass. Yeah. One last serious driver fault. The junction at the end here asked you to change into the right lane. You did. 
It was nice, well done. And then he decided to swerve off to the left into the left lane with no mirrors and no signal. Really? Well, yeah, he did kind of say, oh, I'm sorry. Do you remember? And we went, wee, off to the left. Mm. There could be anyone next to us, we wouldn't know, yeah? So we just gotta be careful, make sure we check our mirrors again and signal, and it's absolutely no problem. You can go left if you want to, I don't care. Mm. Just mirrors and signals, that's all. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, uh, a few minor faults. The signal, three times, staying on. Driving past many roads on the left with a left signal on. Luckily for us, there was no vehicles coming out of the roads on the left that might be misled by that left signal. They might think we're going to turn left, and then they see that signal, they drive out in front of us. Possible accident. So be very careful. Mark those down as minor driver faults because there was no vehicles there. Okay, but that happened yeah. three times. We also had three minor driver faults for the same reason for control, steering. I put this as number two on our priority list, and that is glancing at the mirrors. What's happening is we're looking in the mirrors or we're looking somewhere for two seconds too long. Mm -hmm. We just want to look for one second. One second and back on the road. Another one second and back on the road. If we look somewhere for too long, what's happening is the vehicle's actually moving in the road. We're either drifting too close to the left or moving too close to the right. We want to stay nice and straight in between the road markings and following the lane. There was a few times on the roundabout which when we were approaching to turn or to go straight actually, we're looking to the right because we must look to the right and we need to know if it's safe to go. Now, as we're looking to the right, we're looking for quite a long time and what's happening is your vehicle's going into the right and there's a vehicle on the right lane next to us trying to pass us so as we're moving on to the roundabout, we're going into the vehicle on the right because that's where we're looking. That's what I used to do. So remember my advice, number two on our priority list, glance. Look to the right, but just for a second, and then look ahead where we want to go next. Have another glance to the right, maybe you can see there's no traffic, and then looking ahead where we're going, we're pointing where we're going, we're looking where we're going, we'll go directly into our lane. So just a glance, try to uh, remind us of this as we go. Now, number one on our priority list is planning. So as an example, the one roundabout where we move from the right lane into the middle lane, we need to make a plan before we reach the roundabout. So the sat -navs told us to take the second exit to go effectively straight ahead. Before we reach the roundabout, we know that. We've been given that direction, that advice. So what's the plan? Are we planning at that moment when we hear that way before the roundabout? Or are we arriving at the roundabout and going, where do I go? No, before, you need to plan before. Yeah, so sometimes we're still kind of arriving at the roundabout mm. and then you're sort of going, where do I go? Would that be a fair statement? Yeah, I was confused. Yeah, confusion, right? Yeah. So we're all confused. The roundabout's got a lot going on. So the best thing I can advise is to slow down as we approach the roundabout. You are yeah. doing that. So from running speed, walking speed, and then we're slowly approaching the roundabout, which will give us plenty of time to think, react, and plan. For not yourself, but for other people that are learning to drive, we may accidentally approach the roundabout quite quick, and then all hell breaks loose after that. It's impossible yeah. to plan, impossible to think, and then it's just like, ah, you know? Yeah. Right, so um, number one on our list is planning. Number two on our list is glancing. Yeah. I will remind us of this as we go. Yeah. There's a few other little minor faults here and there, but I don't think we really need to get into it. Okay? Yeah. So, unfortunately, we went past because we just got two serious driver faults for the same reason. Do you remember what they were? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What were they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say yes. But maybe you don't mean yes. Maybe you mean no. I'm sorry, I forgot. Would you remind me? <laughs> so what were the two serious driver faults? Yeah, swerving to other lane without um, signaling. Good. So yeah. there's no signal. Also, yeah. more importantly, no mirror check. No mirror check. So the two yeah. were for the mirror check for swerving yeah. into another lane. Yeah. So just be hot on those mirrors and then apply the signal if you feel it's going to help people to understand where you want to go next. That's it. Any questions?
No, okay, know. we started the mock test with smiles. We ended the mock test with the most serious face I've ever seen you made in my life. I actually thought we were going to come to <laughs> tears there at one point as well. You are doing very well, okay? This is an extremely difficult route and, and a very intimidating and busy area to take a driving test, okay? Yeah. You're doing very well. Your progress is, is shot up, like from the first lessons, if anyone's joined us here, you know, on our lives, and um, they would have seen your first lessons back in the summertime. Remember how that went? Oh. And look where you are now. Ooh. Yeah, can you see the progress, right? Oh, yes. These roads, seriously, yeah. you can't get much more challenging than these roads. High speed, mm -hmm. dual carriageway, dual carriageway roundabouts. Yeah. So many people around us, so much to take in. It's all about that planning, which is number one on our list. Yeah? yeah? yeah. And I'm going to help you with that. Okay. All right. I think that just leaves me to say an extra special thank you to you for sharing, which will help a lot of people to learn to drive, especially if they've made the decision of taking a driving test at Yedding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> um, so thanks for joining us. We're going to take a short break. For everyone that's joined us on chat here on our mock test live and for everyone on youtube i'll say stay safe and we'll see you next time thank you bye bye